Nature is full of unexpected twists and turns. When you believe you've seen everything, a strange new species appears, quickly reviving your confidence in the impossible. Hello everyone and welcome back to Channel Name. Today we'll take a look at 10 unusual animals you won't believe are real. Stay with us until the end of the video to avoid missing any of them. So without any further ado, let's get into it. On Earth, there are 8.7 million species that have been tagged, yet scientists estimate that over 80% of life is still unknown. It's incredible that, despite all of these animals sharing the same place as us, we might only see a dog and a few of pigeons on any given day. We're unlikely to ever see all 8.7 million, so we pick together the strangest of the strange species to give you a taste of what's out there. 1. Marker It's simple to see why this distinctive wild goat is called a screw horn goat. Its head is covered with long corkscrew-shaped horns. The marker, unlike most goats, strikes a stately attitude with a lengthy beard that plainly indicates intelligence. The species is a unique success story. Because to tenacious conservation efforts, its population has increased by 20% and it is no longer listed as endangered. Marker can be found in Pakistan, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, the Himalayas, and Uzbekistan's mountains. However, if you want to view one in the wild, hike to high elevations in distant regions, where it's most likely to be found. 2. Fainting Goat These domestic animals, sometimes known as myotonic goats, exhibit a peculiar muscular reflex in response to any fear-based event. When scared, the goat's muscles become entirely stiff, causing them to fall over. Don't worry, the reaction is painless, and the goats will recover in 10 to 20 seconds. The cause is thought to be a rare genetic condition that has somehow become hereditary. Despite this habit, many people keep goats as pets or breed them for milk and meat all throughout the world. When they are scared, their fainting reflex is actually a benefit since it inhibits them from jumping fences and fleeing. 3. Some bear. When most people think of bears, they think of polar, grizzly, brown, and black bears, which are large, swift, and potentially deadly. They rarely consider sun bears, which are unlike any of their relatives. Sun bears are the world's tiniest bears, with many adults weighing less than 100 pounds, but it's their abnormally long tongues, which may reach 9 inches in length, that really set them apart. Sun bears, often known as honey bears, climb trees in search of honeycomb, and their tongues come in helpful when they lick it up. Deforestation is, unfortunately, contributing to population decreases. Sun bears can still be found in Southeast Asia, where they flourish in tropical forest conditions, unlike their North American counterparts. Sumatra and Borneo Islands are particularly ideal places to visit if you want to see them in their natural habitat. 4. Wombat You'll probably want to hug a wombat the moment you see one, a cuddly little creature with a kind face and tranquil disposition. Don't be deceived by appearances, though. Wombats have teeth that resemble those of a rat and can become violent if they feel threatened. Wombats are also unusual in other respects. Their pouches face backwards and their poop is cute-shaped, unlike other marsupials. To defend the tunnels in which they live, they dive headfirst into them and put up their rump, which is tough enough to fend off predators. Wombats can be found at the San Diego Zoo, but they are best seen in their natural habitat. Visit Maria Island in Australia where they are plentiful and easy to spot. 5. Lyrabird Lyrabird's ability to mimic noises in their environment may easily win them a talent show. True, several birds have this feature, but lyrabirds take it to a whole new level. They are capable of imitating almost any sound, including industrial machinery and power tools. The birds, which are native to Australia, are also noted for their spectacular mating displays, in which males flaunt their long tail feathers, while dancing and singing to attract partners. To find them, look for them in Queensland and New South Wales rainforest zones or travel to Tasmania, where they were artificially introduced but have since reproduced and formed populations. 6. Goliath Bird Ear This spider, which is found in northern South America, is the world's second largest spider, with the giant huntsman spider being only a few centimeters greater in leg span, but more on that later. While the tarantula was called for its alleged proclivity for preying on hummingbirds, it has since been discovered that this is an unusual occurrence for the goliath bird eater, which generally feeds on frogs, lizards, various insects, and snakes. These spiders can use their teeth, yes fangs, to kill predators when they detect danger or face an imminent threat. While the hairs on their bodies can be detrimental to humans, when utilized as a defense, they aren't life-threatening, 
and are comparable to a wasp sting. Despite the Goliath bird eater's frightening appearance, villagers like eating it by roasting its body without the poisonous hairs and sandwiching it between banana leaves. The South American predator's flavor is described as shrimp-like. 7. Sloth Sloths are one of the most distinctive-looking creatures in the animal kingdom, with their sad-looking eyes, often smiling mouth, tiny ears, stubby tail, and ability to tilt their head 360 degrees. They are known for their sluggishness and may often be found lounging, napping, and grazing in the treetops. They don't move much, and when they do, it's at a glacial pace. In reality, the sloth only defecates once every week or so. But lest you mistake this inertia for laziness, it's actually a well-honed protection mechanism. Sloths are so adept at blending into their surroundings that predators frequently pass them by without recognizing them. Central and South America are home to the creatures, which can have two or three toes. Nicaragua and Costa Rica offer particularly excellent viewing opportunities. 8. Long Waddled Umbrella Bird Female long-waddled umbrella birds, like many other birds, don't appear to be particularly attractive. The males, on the other hand, are spectacular with long waddles spreading from their necks, similar to the flabby hunks of skin seen on turkeys. Even more astonishing, they can manipulate their waddles during flying or while sitting still, retracting or expanding them as required. The waddles are particularly strange because they have no official use other than possible courtship displays. The birds have protected habitat areas where their numbers are high, but deforestation in unprotected areas puts their habitat and population density in jeopardy. They're commonly found in portions of Ecuador and southwest Colombia, where they're concentrated. 9. Stick Insect Finding a stick insect necessitates close study. As the name implies, it looks like a stick. This, combined with a stick insect's ability to remain absolutely still for long periods of time, gives it one of the most effective natural camouflages on Earth. As National Geographic puts it, stick insects come in a variety of shapes and sizes. The gigantic prickly stick insect, illustrated here, is one of the coolest. It is native to Australia and has thorn-like spikes to help it blend in with its surroundings. The stick insect has perfected the art of blending in with its surroundings. The modest stick insect seeks to be as quiet as possible, moving slowly, sedentary, and fearful of predators. Even a determined and sharp-eyed predator would have difficulty locating the stick insect in the wild, thanks to one of the most excellent camouflage systems on the planet. Their camouflage mechanism makes them appear to be walking plants at times. The Phobeticus Kirby will haunt your nightmares if you have an insect fear, which many people do. Not only that, but there's more. These shrimp hit with exact accuracy thanks to their extraordinary eyesight. They can look in two directions at once. There are around while it concludes today's video. Which of these animals did you find most fascinating? Have you ever seen such unusual animals? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to receive notification of our future videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.